Hello, Converse. Yes? Oh, yes, I will design some shoes for you. <laughs> anyway, so welcome back to today's video. So today, Converse asked me to um, customize a pair of shoes for them. So today, I'm going to show you how I customize these pair of high-cut sneakers. I think they look pretty cool. So for today's design, what I really wanted to do that was, um, I guess, kind of different from other shoe videos you see online is that I wanted to draw on the rubberized sole, rubberized heel of the shoe, like that bottom white part that's not fabric. And because um, I just didn't want to make a basic design. Now, the interesting part about this is that that part of the shoe is very, it's hard to draw on, so you have to prime it. So what you saw me do there was apply gesso to the rubberized part of the shoe and then what I did next was I made a cutout of the design that I made so in this case it's a uh, bird skull and then I used it to prime just that certain area of the shoe that I wanted to draw on and make sure you get a few good coats on it and also before you gesso make sure to sand it down because um, it's got such a shiny surface that the gesso can just peel off so by setting it down you allow it to grip better and then on to the drawing process so don't be afraid to use tracing paper i don't know if people know that tracing paper exists but tracing paper exists you can trace your ex your design from the paper and then transfer it onto your shoe because it makes it a lot easier to do and then this is me starting on the profile of the face so on this shoe we had to do two shoes. So in this shoe, I decided to focus on the theme of life. So I tried to visualize that through uh, drawing the flowers and then the person's face, because I personally do love flowers and faces. They're two things that I paint a lot if you see my other videos. So I really wanted to uh, put that into this shoe because I feel like it, it, it evoked the idea of life. Also, composition-wise, I decided instead of just um, overwhelming the shoe with lots of flowers, I decided to have them um, sprouting from certain areas of the shoe, which would have the most contact with the ground, which is the uh, toe of the shoe and the heel, and because that would that would be seem like the natural places for uh, lots of dirt to accumulate usually. So instead of dirt appearing, I decided to draw on it, so that even as the shoe got dirty it would still look really nice if you know what I mean but yeah um, since this is quite a simple design it's mostly line work so it actually didn't take that long to draw I kind of pre-planned it and that helped a lot as well so I knew my composition and then yeah oh and this is me starting on the second shoe so on this shoe my theme was death so because life and death they seem to go yin and yang and that's what i wanted to capture in the shoe so i decided to take the motif of a bird skull this is uh if you guys have never seen a bird skull this is what a bird skull looks like it's really interesting you guys should look it up it's actually really pretty to look at as well so i decided to put that on the shoe and you guys know me and i always do work at night because just something about uh, doing art at night is really freeing and relaxing because it feels like it's the only time of day where I don't have any responsibilities and I'm just free to paint as much as I want, make as much noise as I can without waking other people up and just breathing easy without being disturbed by my parents going, John, can you wash the dishes every few seconds? Like, that's really annoying. <laughs> but yeah, I'm basically almost done with the design. Um, and then for the sake of contrast, I decided I wanted to make it seem like the sketches were coming from a, from a blast of black. Like these drawings were emerging from black darkness. So in the next part of this design, um, I drew on the outside of the shoe. So this is what you see right now, but the insides of the shoe were still plain. So I decided to uh, fill them up as well. So at first I started on drawing flowers around the Converse brand logo. But then it 
it just didn't seem to make sense to me so i decided to just fill it in with black like just so much black <laughs> i may have gone overboard but um i like that it make it it made it feel like it was a black drawing dissolving into a drawing that you could see and i did this on both sides of the shoe I think it gave the shoe kind of a really cool, sketchy feeling, which I think was nice. But yeah, it was really nice to work on this shoe. Um, I haven't posted in a little while. Like I posted quite a lot the last in back in February and January, but um, I'm right now in my final year of university and things got a bit hectic in architecture school. I take architecture. So I had to take a little bit of a break, but I'm back now and make more videos. And I'm really glad that I got to work on this project. So um, I forgot to say this in the beginning, but this is, um, I made this project using recyclable ink. So um, Converse contacted me. So I've been working with Converse for two years. I'm a, I do creative projects with them. So they gave me this um, recycled ink marker to use. And I had to use this for this design because this was part of the sustainability pro sustainability project. Sustainability project. And it was really fun to work on because a lot of times you forget that we live on this earth, we live on this earth, and we have to take care of it. So don't forget that. But anyways, that is it for today. I hope you guys are inspired by this design. Feel free to use it if you want to, and uh, tag me or follow me on Instagram at Hoicha. I'll see you guys next week. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps me a lot and I'm really thankful. We recently hit 1k on YouTube. Well, we, well we're past that right now, but it's so amazing. I'm so thankful to all of you guys. And thank you so much for that, for supporting me on this journey. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.